Hey, this is Dan here for Bluecast Studios, and I'm going to be doing a um, tutorial on a video or composition I had made using After Effects, and it's on YouTube. Um, basically, what it is is a kind of experimental title using particles. So, with any, without further ado, here is the video and the effect we're trying to create. You can see this video under Bluecast Studios on YouTube. Alright, so as you can see, it's basically just particles revealing the text in the beginning. And then as they go towards the right of the screen, they kind of start twirling. And so, yeah, we'll jump right into After Effects. Alright, so create a new composition 1280 by 720 square pixels, 24 frames per second and 18 seconds should be good alright so the first step is go to layer new solid make it black and this will be the background go to effect generate ramp it's gonna be a radial ramp first color set to kind of a darkish blue or whatever color you're using that would fit your title and the second color to black. All right. So now we have to make our title. Um, I use the title action save here, and that kind of gives you a way to center your text. Um, I'm gonna be doing Bluecast Studios, obviously, and let me center this vertically a little bit. All right. So now that you have your title. Uh, we're going to add the particles. So go to layer, new, solid, doesn't matter what color. Hit OK. And then go to effect, trap code, particular. Alright, so we'll just go right into the settings. Right now it's just kind of emitting um, in all directions out like this. And so we're going to make it kind of go left and up, as seen in the um, original video. It kind of starts at the origin and then sifts out left and up. So to do that, we're going to use wind and gravity. So first off, we'll increase the particles a little bit. Um, decrease the velocity so they aren't shooting out quite as fast, maybe 40. Um, velocity randomly will turn up and now we're gonna go to um, the physics real quick we'll jump back to the other settings but right now we just want to get it to go left and up so to do that like I said we're gonna use gravity but instead of using positive gravity we're gonna use negative gravity and that way they're gonna go up instead of down um, to get the particles to go left we're gonna change the wind x parameter and set this to about 330 looks about right so now as you can see the particles are starting there and then going off and up to the left alright so that's looking pretty good that's kinda the motion we want them to have I'm gonna come down here and turn on motion blur and that gives me a better idea of what it's actually gonna look like the final so now we're gonna go back and edit more of the parameters change the emitter type to box because we w isn't seen the video here we're gonna want the, um, the particles to not emit from a single point but kind of in a line here so it's, we want it to be about the height of the text so we'll change the X to 0 and the Z to 0 and that way all we change is the Y and that kind of spreads it out that way so we'll make it about the size of the text maybe a little larger about a hundred looks right so as you can see it's kind of just coming out at a vertical line which is what we want um coming down go to the particle size five looks about right but we'll do the size random to give it kind of a different look of smaller and larger part of large particles um, size of our life, we can just kind of draw in a graph here, real simple. We just want them to get a little smaller towards the end of their life. 
So I just kind of draw in a little curve like that. Maybe a little bit more. And that way, just as the particles go towards the edge, they'll start fading. Um, the opacity will leave. Another thing I want to change is the color. On the video on YouTube, um, I had it all white, but I'm going to change it to over life so it gives it a kind of more rich feel. So go down to color over life. I just hit the preset here because it has two colors. Change the first color to white and the second color to kind of darkish blue. And that way it just kind of turns to blue as they get farther away. Alright, um, so that looks good for the particle. Except one other thing I wanted to change was the sphere feather. I wanted to make the particles look a little less blurry. So let's change this to about 10. That way they're less blurred out and they're more, um, I don't even know what you want to call it. They're just less blurry. Alright, one other thing to change is the spin amplitude and this gives them a little bit more of a natural feel. So we'll just spin a little bit. So you can see they're just kind of twirling. Um, that should be good for now. Uh, we can always tweak it later to get the result we want if it's not looking quite right. But for now I'm just going to jump into the next part which is making the particles reveal the text. So first let's animate the particles coming um, from left to right on the screen. So I'm going to hit a keyframe on position X and Y on the particles and then hit U on the keyboard to bring up the keyframe parameters so we can work with it there. So the first keyframe we're going to want the position to be uh, off screen to the left. So I'll pull that out to the left. So there's off screen. And then over a period of, uh, say, seven seconds, maybe about, we want the particles to come across and hit the right wall. So as you can see, this is just kind of coming across here, and then it hits the wall. All right, so obviously we need to make the text um, fade in as well. So. What we're going to use is a linear wipe. And what this does basically is just you do the transition completion, just kind of wipes on the text or whatever layer you're using. So we're going to change this to 270 because we want it to wipe the other way. We want to start um, completely invisible, and then as the particles come in, we want the text to come in as well. So we'll start it at 100% and bring this back and make a keyframe for the transition completion. Also hit U on the keyboard for this. And then when the particles get to the end, we want the completion to be at 0%. So that's totally revealed. And this way you can see it kind of looks like it's wiping it on, but it's not perfect. So we can adjust the keyframes a little bit make it so the particles are kind of ahead of the text a little bit and maybe change that a little bit and that looks about right now one other thing you notice as the text comes on it's pretty a harsh edge here so we're just going to turn on the feather a little bit and that kind of fades it on and makes 